Yo, welcome back guys. Uh, Venom again here with another continuation of the Ape Seal, uh, Ape Seal series. Right, so this is the 8523, which is the last of the uh, 852 series. Uh, the stage is called... I saw it a minute ago on the, on the video. I don't know if you... Uh, anyways, the stage is called Never Surrender. Uh, right, uh, so this one's a 10 stage here because the last, uh, last stage of that... Uh, particular series. So uh, you have ten stages here. First stage is the two soldiers, the fire soldier and the light soldier. Uh, as you can see on them, they don't have any shields as such or any uh, enemy skills. Uh, so pretty straightforward, just take them out um, like normal really, to spin to win. Uh, right, so they don't have any shields as such, um, but they do hit for 8,000 something damage, so uh, you can actually stall on this, but I didn't bother stalling because simply it's a, well, Greeks don't really need to stall anyway, so um, I hear that, but uh, some people might argue about that. But uh, uh, I'm cho I've chosen a Poseidon Greek team. You know, I don't really like Poseidon. Uh, I don't really like Greek teams as such because they're just uh, there's more stable ways of playing this game than just a uh, random spin and hope for the sky drops. But um, I used a Poseidon team anyway because uh, they seem most uh, they seem most viable to use to actually pass these um, stages uh, with. Even though they're unstable, they do the most damage and. In terms of recovery, they do heal quite a lot. Uh, so, the second stage is Apollo. Uh, the Trojan he has is the one which uh, he, he will increase in damage per hit he does on you. So the more attacks he does on you, the more uh, damage he will inflict in the next... Uh, well, consecutively, he'll increase damage. So, uh, as you can hear, see here, this the second hit does 4,700 something damage. <clears throat> uh, obviously you can't store on this guy because he'll do more and more damage, he'll kill you in, like after about 5 turns or something. Uh, so, take him down as soon as possible. I took him down the third turn, he only attacked me twice, so... Uh, there are pl plenty of rounds later on to store CD, so you don't really need to store on those guys yet. Uh, right, this stage you have two two soldiers and the middle astrologer. The astrologer will kill you in one hit. Doesn't matter how much HP you have. Uh, if the two soldiers on the side are the two statues anyway uh, are still alive, so best to take out those uh, statues and he won't attack you. He'll revive his uh, minions instead. Uh, so. What I did was I kind of stalled on this stage, so you kill the two statues as soon as possible and then uh, do minimum damage to the astrologer in the middle and then he'll obviously keep respawning his uh, statues. Uh, <coughs> but this one just rinse and repeat uh, until you kind of stacked enough CDs that you want. Um, so I've got all my members up except uh, the more I sister owed. Uh, I don't really need to use her, but I wanted to use her at the end in case I needed it for the boss or whichever ones like near the boss uh, in case I needed it basically. But I found out I actually, actually didn't need to use her anyway. Uh, right, so just rinse and repeat as normal. And when you've stored enough, you can just basically take down this astrologer and continue to the next level. <clears throat> no problems there. Yeah, again, uh, like using Greeks is not one of my favorite teams. I prefer to use something like Babylon's because they're obviously the strongest teams at the moment. Um, but still, the Greek teams uh, seem to take these stages down the easiest because they've got like in, they've got all the package really. They've got the whole. Uh, need to have enchanted runes, shield, takedowns, uh, the combo shield, take takedowns, and yeah, they just basically have it all uh, for the time being. So that's why I chose to use Greek team, and it actually worked. Because I think I attempted this stage 
I think this was my second or third attempt uh, with a Greek team and managed to uh, take it down the way I wanted to. So, uh, so this should be the final round. Uh, you take down the two statues and then take down the astrologer in the middle. Even though Erd is not up, uh, she'll be up very soon. So I didn't need to stall any more on this guy. <clears throat> right, the next stage will be John with masked runes of 25% of uh, masked runes as they drop. So that's not a problem for any team. Uh, again, this is another stage where you can actually stall on because uh, the active doesn't really do much. <coughs> Sorry, I've still got some like phlegm in my throat <coughs> from the illness that I had. I've actually finished all my medicine now, so uh, I kind of have to let my body uh, resolve the remaining problems <coughs> without pills and stuff. Uh, okay, so as you can see, uh, John takes three turns before he does one attack of 16,000, 16 and a half thousand damage, uh, which is not really enough to kill the majority of teams out there. Uh, the majority of teams will have more than 1,600 something HP anyway. Uh, so, uh, John doesn't have too much HP, he only has, well, he actually has 2 million, but I took him down pretty quick. Uh, Alright, so the next stage is a Ares, or Poppy, her real name is Poppy. Uh, so you can't actually, what, what does she do? I actually can't remember what she does. But anyway, she's got a Trojan, so uh, I think the lower the age, oh, actually she, she has a, basically a first hit shield, in which you can't do any damage to her before she attacks you. Uh, that's why I... That's why uh, rune stacked at the beginning, uh, so I can unleash more damage in the second round. But obviously, the sky drops was so sucky that I didn't do enough damage to kill her, <laughs> or do enough damage anyway. So uh, yeah, so she'll lock you, and she actually poison you as well per turn. So you have to keep your recovery uh, stable. So you have to burst hearts. Uh, in every round, even on this round where you kill her, you have to have hearts because, as you see there, it'll do a, a poison damage when it gets to its second form. And uh, I think that's the part where it killed me, like uh, the two times when I played this through. Uh, so you have to watch for that uh, that poison damage uh, when she goes into a second form. Uh, so you need more than a more than. What do you need? You need more than a percentage of your HP to withstand that poison. Okay, uh, so the poison will, should actually remain on this second form. Uh, so each turn that you don't kill her, it will actually deal the poison damage on you as well. So uh, best to take her down as soon as possible on this one. Uh, lucky with sky drops again. So yeah, like Greeks, you just can't you can't tell whether you're gonna have a good sky drop or not. Uh, so I was lucky again with the sky drops and managed to kill her in one go. All right, next one is uh, seven or more combo. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem with Greeks, All right? So another reason why I chose Greeks was for people like this, where they need uh, over seven combos. Uh, like it's not too difficult to spin more than seven combos. Usually I can spin roughly around five or six. And then you just need basically two sky drops uh, to get that seven, uh, but it's a lot, a lot easier to get it with the Greeks, obviously. So uh, she's just like normal; she doesn't really do uh, too much damage. I think if you don't reach the seven combos, I think she will do damage back to you. Yeah, uh, seven combo shield X. So she will do um, the number of hits she will, uh, the number of attacks she will do is uh, equivalent to how much combos you're missing from that seven. So try and get as close to seven as possible if you can't make seven, else she will destroy you. Uh, she only does 4,000 damage, so it's, but if you stack it up, obviously if you miss by three combos, that's already 1,200 damage, uh, no, sorry, 12,000 damage. So best to take her out as soon as possible. No need to worry about her there. Uh, next stage is the Chimera or the Chimera. 
Oh, that out of battery. So I was playing on my, I was playing on the bus again, and uh, I was running out of battery. So I was like, oh, I gotta quit. I gotta finish this quick. Um, so, all right, the Chimera has the Hellfire Shield. Um, so each each uh, card that or each member that attacks it, it will reflect. Six characters, so it'll reflect 2,000 damage uh, back to you per card. So obviously you've got six cards uh, in your team, and it'll reflect 12,000 damage to you. Uh, shouldn't be a problem if you get great luck with a Greek team like I did, and take it down in the first two turns. So only attack me once, it's fine. Otherwise, keep your recovery up and have more than 12,000 HP, basically. Uh, right, the next stage is the 50% HP reduction and 50% HP reductions. Uh, so luckily, they actually have CD. Their offset on CD is actually uh, incorrect, so they won't attack at the same time and instantly kill you. So you can actually stall on this if you need to stall, or just basically, like I did, just take them out. Uh, with one shot. <clears throat> Not too difficult, that one. And then, stage 9 is Virgo. She doesn't... Nope, nope. What does it say? Oh, it's Virgo. Okay, so the next stage is Virgo. She has a... It doesn't actually say it on the wiki, uh, but she has a no stat and whatever that shield is. <laughs> I don't know what that shield is. Uh, I just started to just like nuke her. Just basically uh, nuke her. Uh, she would do only 10,000 damage uh, per two turns, so nothing, not a problem. <clears throat> oh, it's uh, yeah, okay. So it's the, it's the so it's the regain health, and when she gets under uh, when she gets under four, if she's over wait, if she's over forty percent HP, I don't really get these type of shields. If she's over forty percent HP and you kill her, she'll revive. So you have to get her below forty percent HP and then kill her. Otherwise, she'll have uh, multiplied bonus damage or bonus health whatever uh, so I was unfortunate not to I was unfortunate to do too much damage to her to uh, actually make her revive so uh, so I had to burst it down as soon as possible basically uh, right so the last stage is uh, I don't even know how to say his name to be it's Hephaestus 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 God of Fire Alright, uh, so he's got the Trojan 4X, so when he's down to low HP, he's going to get more uh, stronger and more defense. Uh, just one word really, just nuke him. Uh, just nuke him as much as you can. You know, uh, I wouldn't even bother trying to like um, uh, deplete his HP a little bit so he gets to halfway and then uh, like destroy him. I'll just like nuke him straight out. He's only got... He has 6 million HP. Oh, great. So he's got 6 million HP. This is going great on my recording at the moment. Uh, so he's got 6 million HP, which is actually quite a lot. But uh, obviously, if you get lucky on the sky drops like I did with uh, Poseidon, and because he's fire, uh, it's one shot kill. There we go. So only 21 combos, but uh, at the draconic compulsion with it, and I kill it in the first hit. So, uh, yeah. That is uh, stage 8523 for you. Uh, my next video will be on 8531, which is the next uh, series. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.